welcome to another edition of Long Beach Treasures. I'm your host, Harvey Keller. Today we're going to be down here and we're going to see two beautiful homes here on Ocean Avenue, or Ocean Boulevard. And joining me here is the owner of the Harvey House, uh, Sean Harvey. Welcome, Sean. Hi, thank you. Pleasure to meet you. And your house, I see, was 1901? Yes, built in 1901. And how long have you lived here? We moved in about three years ago and uh, decided to do a nice paint job, which turned into a full restoration. That's a beautiful job. Thank you very much. We uh, hired the, the country's leading Victorian color consultant, uh, Dr. Schweitzer, University of Michigan, to come up with a color, color scheme, which is uh, six colors, uh, two body colors, which we'll see later, uh, two trim and two accent. So six all together? Six. Mm -hmm. And I guess I should have mentioned this is Libby that uh, was with me when I first uh, opened the show. How many square feet do you have here? Depending on how you measure, probably around 2,700 due to the additions that have been added over the years. I'm assuming at one time this would have been an open sleeping porch and over the years it's been enclosed to become a living space? Uh, that's the theory, yes. Mm -hmm. Can we uh, go in and look at the inside? be a pleasure. Let's go Let's ahead, go. Harvey. made many structural changes on the interior or is this pretty well original? No, this is as it was built as far as we can tell. Uh, it was converted to a duplex somewhere around 50 years ago and was a rental for many decades and the lady we bought it from converted it back to single family. So as close as we can tell is uh, the original floor plan. And this obviously is the uh, parlor, setting room or living mm -hmm, room? Mm -hmm, depending on what era It's a large term. room, isn't it? Sure. Nine foot ceilings. They're a coved uh, plaster over lath, of course, which is typical of the period. Naturally, separate dining and living rooms. The open concept, of course, was decades into the future. And this is the uh, dining room. Are the hardwood floors original? This is 105-year-old red oak. Is it? As best we can tell, yes. So it is original. There have been some repairs made, <laughs> but the uh, uh, hardwood floors apparently are original. They're the narrow boards, aren't they? Mm -hmm. oh. You have some unusual and nice looking artwork. One of our passions, my wife and I do enjoy uh, somewhat abstract work. <laughs> I like these little doors and cubby holes in all these yeah. old homes. It looks like. Uh, That's sto storage underneath the stairs. Very handy. It's a otherwise quite a large cubic area that would have been wasted had they not put the door there. And I'm just going to keep circling around. I guess. Oh, nice kitchen. Modern kitchen. One of the things that uh, most wives wouldn't tolerate the lack of. And here it is. That's one of the things I notice most about the historic homes. That the only changes that a lot of people really make are to modernize the kitchen to have more of a modern conveniences. Sure, sure. And that's, uh, again, a must for most people that buy a water home. The kitchens, I guess, haven't seen one, but they were uh, not in the league that anyone would want to try and, try and cook a big meal in. You did say that this is registered with the city of Long Beach as a historical site, did you not? It is, yeah. It is and has been for around six years now. And incidentally, uh, this 1901 structure happens to be the oldest surviving house on Ocean Boulevard. Wow. Only older homes are uh, in neighborhoods that are uh, up away from the coast some. 1901, that's mm -hmm. pretty good shape for she is. 1901, isn't mm -hmm. it? I agree. Let's go back Remarkable. this way. Off and the living room, there is a uh, study, multi-purpose studio office that I've converted. We'll get there shortly. Oh, I see the Anna Amber R. Brown residence. Right. Here's is the that the original owner? Mm -hmm. That's the plaque uh, for the historic designation. Anna Brown was the original uh, owner. It was built for her by her husband, who was a jeweler on Pine Avenue in 01. Where are we going? I guess it's been seven years now. 90 is when the declaration occurred. And this, then, is your den? Studio, office, as you prefer. I, does uh, lots of things. I must assume that uh, you play the guitar? Well, I'm a bass player, yes. Oh. yes. And of course, uh, guitar occasionally and keyboards, just to have them to compose and record with. Do you play all of these? Oh, sure. Really? Oh, sure, yes. Wow, you've got quite a collection. 
It's just about what it needs to be. It couldn't really fit too many more in here comfortably. And this is the office? Mm-hmm. Oh. Can we run upstairs and see the upstairs? Let's go upstairs, see the bedrooms. It's a beautiful staircase. It is. This, uh, the staircase was salvaged. There were, when the place was a duplex, walls that covered all this. And fortunately, the, you know, naturally the contractors wanted to take the easy way out and tear it down. But Vernon was able to have them save it and uh, strip it and refinish it, and it looks, as far as we can tell, just as original. Was it painted at one time? It was painted and, as I say, covered in drywall. There were walls here. This was a, a common entryway we're standing in right now. Ah. And the doors were here, and this was walled in over to our left. Let's go upstairs. All right. I think this is where I'd spend most of my time out here. This looks like... Yeah, the solarium. This is a neat, neat place. I guess you don't have an ocean view, do you? There's what the realtors refer to as a peak view of ocean view. Right there? Right there, a little slice past those trees. Hardly counts. The uh, original design apparently was a, an open porch, and uh, it was added, uh, closed, somewhere in the past. Uh, during the restoration, we had to replace this entire window system here, the south-facing windows. They simply were too old and uh, dried out to even accept patching and painting. So we bit the bullet and went ahead and replaced them with uh, a design that looks virtually identical to the original, but uh, now the windows work and so forth, and it looks uh, like it's supposed to. And there's always a cool breeze coming in off the ocean from... Yes, yes. The central air condi conditioning system is virtually unnecessary. This is a matter of opening these windows, and in five minutes it's, it's gorgeous uh, any time of the day because we do have, as you say, about a six or seven knot breeze always flowing on shore during the day. It's comfortable here right now. It is. Splendid. It really is. The uh, landing here, uh, surprisingly large. Apparently this is the design they came up with only because they had conventional in mind. The bedrooms were typical little bedrooms. And uh, this landing here has just uh, has become the uh, Michael Parks gallery in effect. That's <laughs> the four prints from him. And what do we have down here? Well, Which way are we going? This is the master. This is the master bedroom? Mm -hmm. As you can see. Diagonal lines are kind of nice. Nice modern bathroom. This is this was completely replaced. These are not original walls. This is drywall. This is the only mm -hmm. room in the in the house besides the kitchen that have had the original walls taken out. Uh, fireplace flue is in here, and the uh, pretty much all modern spec uh, can lights, which naturally are new. Uh, period style doors, though replaced. Virtually all the other doors in the house are original, these raised panel doors you see. So we're able to match the uh, style of this new door reasonably well to the, the existing 104-year-old doors. Master bath is rather, rather pretty. You know, these, what I like about a lot of these old homes like this, the rooms are quite large. Yeah, yeah this is, uh, I guess, what you'd expect on a fairly high-end home of the day. Uh, those across the street were far more grand. They had the ocean view, but the uh, homes here were nothing to sneeze at. Can you imagine what Ocean Boulevard looked like when this was built in 1901? It's hard to imagine. It really is. The, uh, the amount of change is, is staggering. My wife has seen a lot of it. She's lived in the area all, all her life. And the uh, uh, coming to rental properties, of course, has made the landscape change a lot. Mm -hmm. But yes, the, uh, the vista during the turn of the century, at the turn of the century, should have been quite a lot different. Let's uh, go check out the rest of the house because Please. we haven't got a lot of time left. This is presently set up as a guest room. It was our room for a while before we set up the master the way we wanted it. It took a little over a year before we even furnished that room. This got a guest in here, they may not leave. Precisely. That's, that was the <laughs> idea, wasn't it? I went ahead, too, and I uh, went to a great deal of trouble to locate all these different drawer pulls to replace the existing uh, window lifts. These are all quite a mix of, uh, of period-correct uh, drawer pulls, which I kind of like to, for the sash windows. Most I of them are cast iron. these are closets? Yeah, and yeah, these closets are fully functional. That one's got shelves. This one is hanging closet. All right. How many bedrooms do you have? There are three total. Mm -hmm. Three bedrooms, three baths. This at present is a uh, gym. Oh, this is where you keep fit? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, actually, really gets used, in fact. 
<laughs> it's simply here because uh, this room hasn't really told us what it wants to have done to it yet. So at some point in the future, it'll get a uh, be a second guest room, get a treatment that uh, turns my wife out. Uh, are you on. telling me you have ghosts here that speak to you? You know, uh, no. <laughs> Most people ask about that, and as far as I can tell, no. But maybe maybe it's simply subliminal, and I'm not getting the message consciously. Maybe it's just a subliminal uh, conversation. And then you have one more bath up One bath. Mm -hmm. The girls' bathroom, as my wife refers to it. And it is, uh, we guessing 40s vintage tile, I think, wouldn't you say, looking at it? Maybe yes. 30s? Yes. Uh, but it is the original tile, work. And uh, got some years on it, got some age on it, but it's uh, still serviceable. And uh, kind of like it. Retains a little bit of flavor, uh, not too long after she was built. Once again, the bathroom's quite large, too. They did put a great deal of space in the bathroom. By modern standards, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. a lot of the smaller ones. True. So this is the, the Harvey House or the Brown House? Yes. Presently the Harvey House, officially known as the Ann Arbor Brown Residence, historic pearls. And we're having a great deal of fun, as anyone could imagine who's had a chance to watch the program. You and how do you like living in a historic home? Wonderful. It's terrific. Terrific. Also living in, in, right near downtown is a lot of fun. Having the, the action of foot traffic and people wandering around is uh, uh, a great advantage. Does the noise bother you? Gotten used to it. Gotten used you? to it. Although our trip to Alaska a couple of weeks ago, we got used to silence, and it took a couple of days or nights to get used to having the road noise again. But yes, you, you, you acclimate, for sure. <laughs> Hasn't been a problem. <laughs> okay, let's go on back down. Thank you. Go ahead, Marty. Attic? Attic access. Do you have a basement here? There is no basement. There's about a th well, four-foot clearance in the crawl space, which makes it uh, quite uh, unusual and pretty easy to work down there, although it's a very unpleasant place to be, even with uh, reasonable room down there. But yeah, the attic is immense. And if we have ta tape left, we can uh, take a look at that if you'd like. Well, I want to thank you, Sean, for letting us come and uh, check out your house, because... Uh, as I would go down the boulevard, I always noticed this because of the paint job outside, and I'm always intrigued uh, and impressed with people who take care of historic homes. Yes. I'm very much a preservationist, and I'm glad to see people like you who are still around and who are taking care of some of the significant historical resources here in the city of Long Beach. Yes, no, it's been a great pleasure doing it. Uh not without his trials and tribulations, but the end product is, uh, is truly spectacular. Most everybody who sees it agrees. The color scheme is uh, couldn't be better. Uh, that's beautiful. I, I really like the uh, the, the color scheme. Yeah, Perfect. We're happy with it. Sean, thank Pleasure, you. Harvey. Thanks for coming. And don't go away. We'll be right back with more Long Beach Treasures. Smooth Sports Grill. Wherever you're sitting in the, inside, you can see at least five uh, screens. So whatever your interest is, wherever you're sitting, you're going to be seeing what you want. Like the TV monitors, the food is great. I like the menu. It is the place on Pine Avenue. It is, in fact, it is my home away from home. You got everything from surfing to, you know, baseball and even, you know, international soccer. Upscale. Very, very nice. Very sexy. It's really nice to be here. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Pacific Family Health Clinic is a low-cost, high-quality alternative to the rushed and personal medical office. This medical school-affiliated teaching clinic returns to the personal, timely, quality care that's often missing in medicine today. You'll be seen in a relaxed, comfortable environment with the thoroughness of care and individual attention necessary for good health. So if you need a good family doctor for the long term or just a one-time visit for a second opinion or a specific problem, the Pacific Family Health Clinic is the place to go. Why should your business check out Charter Business? Ability. The affordability of our high-speed business class networking solutions. The scale ability to quickly and simply adjust those solutions to your changing needs. 
the reliability of our fiber-based Cisco-powered networks, and local market accountability you just don't get from the phone company. Check out Charter Business Ability today at 888-975-6100 or visit charter-business.com. Welcome back to Long Beach Treasures. Joining me now is Joe Bartlett, who owns this beautiful home here on uh, Ocean Boulevard. What kind of style is the house? It's Mission Revival. And it was built in what year? 1912. And the size of the home? Roughly uh, 3,000 uh, square feet in the main quarters, and then the maid's quarters is another about 700. Interestingly enough, it was built by a gentleman by the name of James Beer, B-E-E-R. So I tell people I had the uh, first beer house in Long Beach. <laughs> is this uh, designated by the city as a historical home? Yes, it is. Okay. Can we go in and check it out? Absolutely. Let's go. Oh, wow, I like the uh, coffered ceiling. Yes, uh, they don't make homes with these kind of ceilings anymore. And you have pocket doors? Yes. Actually, there's beautiful uh, wood flooring, uh, but we had carpeting in the next year. We're going to take the carpeting up and uh, see if we can attack the wood floors and restore them. Now, is the fireplace original? Uh, we assume so. We have some pictures of the house uh, when it was a postcard in the 1920s. And it's right over behind us here. The city found this postcard and uh, you notice everything's original, the doors, the windows, everything, just like it is uh, then, except maybe a few extra flowers at that point in time. And it was actually designated on this little postcard that we have here. It says a uh, pretty residence in Long Beach. And we assume based on cars and the, the way it was pre-colored that it was about in the 1920s uh, when, it was, when it was made. Now, I know a lot of these older homes that I've been in have uh, little telephone booth-type rooms. Now, this looks like one, is it? Actually, that's a, uh, a clothes closet. Oh, okay. So I, it just looked with the I mirror mean, yeah. on the front. It looked yeah. like it might be a, for a telephone conversation. No, piece. but, you know, we have a few unique little rooms, uh, one in the back uh, where a water closet takes its true meaning, and we haven't changed it. All right. <laughs> this is a nice size room. Yes, it's a, it's a lovely room, and the fact that it is original with the original uh, windows and all makes it very special. And the dining room with the yeah. uh, built-in uh, cabinets? Right, that's all original. When we moved in here, the house had been vacant for four years, and they were going to condemn it and tear it down, and uh, we decided to take on the project restoring it. So we replaced uh, the glass and the... Uh, and cleaned up the cabinets and the ceiling and uh, have been a labor of love ever since for the last 10 years. And the kitchen, I assume? Yeah, we did redo the kitchen, but we did it with a, a Spanish flavor to it um, with the tiling and the cabinets. Uh, we stripped the cabinets and totally redid them, but uh, basically it's the uh, original. We just had to kind of put a little of our own effort into it. Just tweaked it a little bit? Tweaked it a bit, and made room for a uh, washing machine, or a dishwasher and uh, a new stove, and did a little rearranging of the cabinets, and, and did the tile and floor tile uh, to try to make it fit the theme. Well, being so close to the ocean, you get a nice breeze, don't you? Exactly, and at this time of year, we need it. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's go back this way, I this guess. Our or, exercise oh. room where we we uh, keep fit and fiddle. Keep, keep fit and fiddle. I'll show you the water closet that we were talking oh. about. It truly is, you know, when it was outside and it was truly a closet, we have actually maintained it. It's very, very small. And <laughs> then when they brought it from the outside in, that's about as much as you got. <laughs> we do have a wine cellar, if you'd like to just take a quick look at that. I'd love to, yes. It's a little unique. Because as I was walking down the street, I noticed the window, so I knew you had yeah. to have a big basement. So uh, hopefully we'll, we'll ignore some of the uh, my workroom and the laundry room, but uh, focus on the, the wine cellar, which is actually the first room oh. that we uh, finished and updated. 
You must like wine. We do. We probably have more wine here than we'll drink in our lifetime, so <laughs> we just basically have actually made it a beverage cellar, so we have everything from water, beer, wine, and sodas. You have a big size basement down here, a lot of storage, isn't yes. there? Yes, and we just redid this storage area with all the new shelving. So. I'm surprised you have such a big basement with the water level being the way it is. It does bother us sometimes in the rainy season because water does have a way to seep in here Do somehow slowly. you have to use slowly. a sump pump? Well, we have a, uh, a way to pull it out, so. But it's only if it's super bad, it just gets a little, little damp. All right, we'll so go back. So we can go back upstairs? Sure. Now we're heading, I assume, up the back staircase to the uh, second floor? Correct. This is a wide staircase. Yes, isn't it wonderful? And the nice big landing here. In the early days, we didn't have, there wasn't a lot of room there, clothes that people would have, and so uh, basically uh, cabinet space was pretty minimal. But everything is built in here, and even in, the, in the each bedroom. With the cabinets, apologize. We just uh, have changed a couple things out. We're in the midst of what would the pictures. top of the cabinet be used for? We think it'd be like equivalent of a Murphy bed. Uh, put a mattress up there. It's six feet long. Oh. So we assume that people might have even slept there and used this kind of like a study. I thought maybe it was a baby's changing table. <laughs> <laughs> Big one, actually. <laughs> if we can, uh, we I don't want to actually get into this room, but th there's a bathroom here. And this room, because uh, we've got some stuff in here we haven't had a chance to take out, was like a baby's room. Mm -hmm. And so that was the extra room, and it's got its own little closet space. Wonder Boy, look at the door on this cupboard. I wanted to point out the size of that door. This goes up to an attic that is absolutely finished. It's got stairways and the whole bit. You can literally go up there and make it an extra rumpus room. Mm. One of the interesting histories of this house, and I'm moving a picture here, that we're going to put up. You see the buttons? During the uh, both, both wars, because of the history of Long Beach, um, the wives of officers couldn't stay on the boats or the ships with their husbands. And they used this like a boarding house, we have to assume, because actually these buttons went for each of the rooms to identify who needs what. And there is a doorbell in the master it's no longer connected. <laughs> we didn't want to take a chance and actually be using it. But the doorbell actually contacted the person that would be uh, the owner and the buttons if uh, they needed any service. So each of the rooms had a designated button. And I, I can't get over the size, uh, look yes. at the size of the drawers. And the drawers are incredibly big. I mean, you literally need no, uh, no furniture in the bedrooms because of the size of the drawers. And you notice, there's this side, and there's one over here, too. And so it's a, it's a wonderful thing to have all of that storage room built in. We have what we call our sunroom. And uh, this goes out into our patio. Is the, uh, are the doors original? I noticed this beveled glass. Yes, well, the, the glass is uh, revised, but the doors are. They're part of that original picture. and. Uh, before that uh, apartment complex was built on the other side, we actually had the most beautiful view of the ocean and the Queen Mary that you can imagine from really most of the rooms that face, face the ocean. This is a nice little room. It's airy, it's bright. Yeah, it's uh, a nice room to read in and uh, basically just enjoy. Mm -hmm. This room. Guest room? Guest room, yeah, if you just kind of take a look down here. It's just basically, uh, uh, Doris's uh, son is staying here while he's uh, paying for his uh, medical work. He's a doctor and he's got, mm. got his medical dues to pay, so to speak. <laughs> and uh, so he stays here for the time being and just kind of hangs out when he's not working. Now How many bedrooms do you have in this house? Well, if you uh, exclude the sunroom, we have four bedrooms plus that sunroom. And this is the master bedroom? This is the master. And, uh, oh, I bet I you get this? a nice, cool breeze every evening, don't you? Yeah, let me move this out of the way so you can get a good glimpse of it. But it's a, yeah, it's a beautiful room. And uh, again, every uh, room has all of the, the wood and the, 
Did you have to openings. strip any of the wood? Was it painted? I had to redo all the wood. Did you? Every board in this house we've had to redo. <laughs> mm. And we're still in the process of doing it, too. This is a box uh, a stereo that we just got. And is this is the master bathroom? Yeah. I built a cedar closet here. And uh, then Ooh. this... Uh, you have a jacuzzi, an indoor jacuzzi? Yes. Oh, wow. And so uh, it basically uh, gives us a chance to... Uh, appreciate the finer things when we don't, uh, when we have a minute. <laughs> and then the, uh, the shower is kind of a nice big uh, oh, yeah. walk-in shower. Oh. Now, did you put this in or was this already here? This was here. We just basically, the, the jacuzzi, actually the tub was here, but it wasn't, didn't have uh, any hookups or motor or anything else. And <laughs> when we, first got in here, we thought we would turn it on and try it, realized after we ran it for a while, no water stayed in there. It was all flooding downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so we fixed that problem and took care of it. Well, this is really nice in here. Yeah, we love this uh, bathroom because of its size and its roominess and the, uh, the, the comfort off of the master. The lights or the windows yeah. are, give you a lot of privacy, yes. too. I did those. There was something there, but I had to redo them and make them uh, private windows and bring in light and, and privacy. Does the uh, noise from the uh, streets bother you? No, not really. Uh, we've been here for almost 10 years, and it's been kind of a, a thing where we've gotten used to it. Had a little bit of noise, but we closed the windows and uh, the, the doors, and you basically don't hear very much. Now, is there anything else we need to see before we... Uh run out of time? Uh, I don't think so. It's basically uh, pretty much see what you have. That's beautiful wood. Yeah, that's all original wood. And you have the picture rails going around there? Right. Yeah, even these huge base railings are, are all original. Do you have any base. idea who the architect was for the house? Yeah, it was actually the person that was the first owner, James C. Beer. Oh. He not only was the architect, he lived in the house. Oh. And this must have been quite a nice home on, uh, along the avenue here when he first built it. Right, exactly. And I think that's where they used the postcard to kind of um, show what the beautiful homes were on the boulevard once upon a time. But it went into hard times, and unfortunately, like I say, we were almost ready to uh, lose it and we got it at an auction and has been restoring it ever since for the last 10 years. You know, when it was vacant, uh, I had my eye on it <laughs> because I, I thought, what a neat house that would be. Just got to tell you one quick thing. It, when we moved into it, the plumbing didn't work, the electrical didn't work. <laughs> we couldn't even use the, uh, the toilets. We used to go down to the beach to, to do that and borrow water from friends, and we had buckets all over catching the rain until we started the uh, restoration project. So oh, it was like camping out on Ocean Boulevard. So it was an extensive renovation that you did to the house yes. over the years. So it's truly been a labor, labor of love. Again, uh, like Sean, I, I compliment you on uh, preserving a piece of Long Beach history because there aren't a lot of us left who want to preserve the significant historical resources here within the city. It was a fight to do it, but uh, thanks to Ruth Ann Lear, who uh, was of real assistance, both in Sean's home and this one, um, we were able to get some help, at least some support to do it. Joe, thanks for letting me see your home. Oh. I appreciate it. <laughs> it is a pleasure, believe me. Thank you. And that's our show for this time. So join us again next time as we take another walk through history and uncover more Long Beach treasure.